What we have here is the Raspberry Pi digital camera. This is a prototype, hence the rubber bands, wires, and um, last minute attachments of all the components here. We've got the RGB camera with a 3D printed little holder that's hot glued to this um, this case here. Little LiPo battery with the Adafruit Power Boost module for charging in uh, 5 volt regulation and output. We've got the normal Raspbian operating system. Um, the system's booted here. Nothing plugged in, no network access, no USB devices, just keeping it local for right now. But um, if you're familiar with the Adafruit Raspberry Pi digital camera setup, then you'll probably notice that it was originally written for the 2.8 inch TFT LCD screen that has uh, the four little buttons here. And this is the newer 3.5 inch uh, touchscreen only version. So the Python script they gave us, uh, I just went in and modified the coordinates for all the buttons and everything so it looks a little bit more centered on the 3.5 inch because what it originally did is everything was kind of in the corner, you know, the 2.8 inch corner. So it has all the original features of the Adafruit original project. So if you're not familiar with this, go ahead and uh, check that out. The link's in the video description. But basically you can uh, determine where you want your photos stored. And you can also check out the size settings that are different. And the Raspberry Pi camera has 17 built-in effects. So you can go ahead and uh, use any of those that you want. And the cool thing about this is that all the settings are saved in a file. So when you power this down and power back up, everything's saved. ISO mode, um, if you'll notice the way that this menu works, notice how it's not centered because I couldn't figure out how to get this little carrot moving appropriately to center the bar. So that's the only thing that hasn't been ported over. And of course your quit menu, which we don't want to do, but we can hit done. And what we'll do is you can just go ahead and take a look at this and touch the screen. You'll get the working logo and it's going to take the picture. It's going to save it. Give you a little preview. So it's a very basic setup, but very cool functionality because since it's normal embedded Linux system, you have the freedom to basically do whatever you want. If there's a, there's your, there's the picture we just took. You can scroll through the pictures that are on here too, just so you can um, detail them or delete them as needed. These are the ones I took earlier with some different effects. Just to show you that uh, it works pretty well. It's a little slow because it's Raspberry Pi, but you can add whatever features and functionality you want to this. Um, I was thinking about using some GPIO pins for some of those super bright LEDs so that when I go ahead and take the picture, it uh, acts as a flash real quick. But we'll, we'll see what happens from there. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching.